Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Fan Ling right now and another vlog today. Up north, today is, so, today is cold, so that's why up here is even colder. Whew. Oh. When you're actually living in Kowloon, you're, never, you're not going to get used to this, uh, this uh, weather up here in the New Territories. But we're ready to prepare. Let's get ready for the vlog. According to the caption, uh, the valleys. Yes. What does it mean by valleys? This word here, this word, another Chinese lesson right here. This word, Ling, is actually means valley. So... I actually, maybe it's, yeah, it's valley, because I actually call it like a valley, yeah. So, that's why we're going to go to Tiu Kang Lang, which has the same word. So, that's a very long vlog, but thank you so much. I think even Wong for this request here. We're waiting for our train to Admiralty. And we'll get going. Oops. And here comes our train to Admiralty here. Forty nine, okay. Forty nine fifty one. D O five D O four nine D O five one here. Now I could have first class, but you can see the first class already like pretty full, so that's why I know low Wu train. Low Wu train are always actually fuller, you can see how full this is. Not good. Last train I think was lot much out, so it was actually pretty empty the last train. But anyways, let's get on board. Of course, I have to stole my spot. From the train door. Hang on. Now hopefully because of my shirt, so I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit because in the train it's not gonna be that that chilly. So that's why it should be fine. Now I definitely have severe hay fever right now after I come back. So that's why. Very, very severe hay fever. So, so how are we going to do this path? We're going to do basically the fastest way over. We're not going to do stupid things this time. So it's going to be Tai Wai and then Diamond Hill and then Tiu Ken Lang. <coughs> now I'm going to have some random... <coughs> Just to actually clear the throat a little bit randomly throughout the video, so just bear with me for now. Now you should have seen the uh, low Wu video, that little short journey. You really know how crazy low Wu can be, so that's why. <laughs> and uh, Lot Ma Chao is pretty, pretty, mostly pretty empty if you actually cross Lot Ma Chao, so that's why. I mean, if you cross to your Shenzhen, it might be not too empty. It might be still pretty full like that day when I go over. But when you come back, most of the time it's actually pretty empty because... It's just like, after you, because everyone after you cross over, they're just trying to actually get to the uh, shopping areas, which is actually closer to Lowu. So after you cross and then finish shopping, just go basically, you have so, so many things. So why not just go to the nearest port, which is Lowu, so that's why. Especially when people want to go up there and shop, basically the best spot to shop is actually at Lao Jie, which is the uh, Dongmun Dongmun Shopping Street. That's the uh, that's the one of the uh, most famous spots, and that's like two stops away from Shenzhen with Line One. So why not just go to the sh I mean Lo Wu? So why not just go to Lo Wu? So it's just when you cross over, they don't really care where you're going. Next station, Taiwo. Now 
Now we have full platform gates for Typo Market Platform 4 later on, but now actually I said before that they're gonna finish off Typo Market Station very soon, apparently not, because Typo Market Platform 1 is curved. Platform 2, Platform 3, Platform 4, they're all just a straight platform, but Platform 1 is curved. So that's why MTR always actually leaves the curved station's platforms to the end, because it's the hardest one to build. So that's why they're not gonna touch Typo Market Station Platform 1 for a little while until they are finished with all of the straight platforms. Which somehow they haven't started on uh, Fan Ling and also Fu Tan yet. Everything is actually straight, but they didn't actually start it yet. <laughs> now Taiwo is also curved, so that's why they haven't started yet. Shatin they have started. I saw like a ring one or two platform gates on this side of the platform, so we might be able to see it when we drive in. And here we are at Taiwo Station. And there's the Railway Museum. It is free of charge and it's so empty, no one even go there. Next station, Typo Market. Doors will open on the right. Now we do want to swap to the right side here because just to want to see the uh, platform gates. And we just got a Typo Market terminating train. Should I get over there? It should depart, but it's probably like around three trains behind. A Typo Market Spectra train just arrived. So that's why. Yep, Typo Market Spectra train just arrived on the middle platform. Uh, I want to get everyone in before I shoot that guy over there. Wow, it's this station now. Holy crap. Can I even show you guys the train? But, uh, quick shot over it. Typo Market Special Train terminated. That thing basically is just like Mobu Station. One side will close and the other side will open over here. So, it should serve passengers going back to Admiralty instead of actually just doing not in service. So, the other side just closed. It should open this side soon. And there's the platform gates. Fully installed for platform 2, 3 and 4, which also includes the middle platform over there. I don't know whether it's going to open the doors or just stay there for a while. Now usually before, I think it does serve passengers backwards, going back to Admiralty. But it will wait there for a while. So, 
I saw that guy earlier on with the terminating on the display board. So, 下一站大学，下一站大学。Next station, university. Pretty much still is rush hour timetable right now. And we just got Tolo Highway over there, and across the river is Manshan. And later on in the future, they're gonna have a new new station here in between here, called Park Shekok, to share serve that area of Science Park over there. Because right now, if you actually want to go to Science Park, you actually need to take buses from University, which is pretty miserable. There's only that terrible frequency 272K circular route from University Station, and also for Park Shekok residents. Because for Park Shekok residents, they actually need to take a even a, another terrible route frequency two seven two A circular circular through Science Park to a further spot to where they live in Park Shekok University Station circular route. But right now they also have an extra route, which is 272X, which they have made it full day, f uh, half day service right now. I think half day service, which is straight out to Mongkok East Station for an express service, which is really good, because then after you express out, you don't need to waste time coming to University Station. You just take the trains, <coughs> you just take buses right out, which is pretty quick after Science Park. It will pass through Park Shekok. It terminates at Tai Po for that one, but Tai Po and we pass through Park Shekok and Science Park, and then after that, straight out to Olympic Station.
I'm trying to pull up my sleeves because my hands are a little sweaty. So that's why when my, my sleeve actually touched my sweaty wrist, it just feels really bad. Emirates race course of that way with the depot. We have an MRR in the depot or something. I don't think so though. But we have the yellow head in the depot, which is actually the first generation MRRs. Which is the uh, train used on KCR Israel like in the 1990s. After the uh, MRR comes in with a refurbishment, then they have all MRRs. And then of course with the SP's introduction as well. So the before Israel line is served by SP's and also Israel line. I mean MRRs, but SPs again is very very limited, only 6 SPs with like a tons of MRRs, so that's why SPs is like the rarest thing of all times on the Israel line before. I got like a few videos on the Israel line with SPs before, before our trains was introduced. So the first day of operation with our trains is 6 hour trains immediately in to replace all 6 of the SPs. And then after that it's just MRRs and our trains. And then after that, when they cross over the harbour, it just need to stop using MRRs and all the MRRs just retired. Nice. We're using the side, the uh, the uh, the right, the uh, what's that thing called? Platform four. Which earlier on there was a train parked on platform three with lights off, uh, and apparently it's not, it hasn't left yet, which is so stupid. So we have to just every single train is divert to the side platforms now. That's pretty troll. So we're using the side platforms here, which is rare. You never you seldom see these. So, but the announcement is actually pretty smart. Whenever it actually needs to swap platforms, it actually sets doors open on the right. So, we're using the uh, side platforms here, platform four, which rarely use, of course, because you need to cross the tracks. So, of course, you need to use just basically the main one. But there are Shatin special trains, which will use the side platform starting at Shatin, and also there's the Shatin terminating train during evening rush hours from Admiralty. Okay. Then it will use the other side direction, platform 1, side platform, to terminate. We mainly use platform 2 and 3, and here's the side platform. Unfortunately, it's also on the right. Huh? 
Oh my gosh. Why they're blocking off the middle? They're blocking off the middle. Every single train needs to actually swap over. Even the other side is using platform one over there. What? Earlier on, I was still using platform two for my train up. So apparently they're blocking it off. I think they're facilitating the use of platform gates now. I think they're starting to build platform gates even during service hours. I think they're blocking it off just to build platform gates. Wow, every single train is using this side now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, every single train is using the side platforms. That is pretty cool. Even platform one over there for the train. Cool. Now sometimes it's just like one random train will use platform four and then everything is platform three. So that's why on the platform four display it actually shows like Admiralty 80 minutes or something like that, which is so stupid. Alright, next is Taiwan we're getting off. But now every single train is using it, so yeah, they've blocked off the little platform. I think they're just ready for platform gates installing. Cool. Now they cross back over though. So it does cause a little bit of a nuisance because they need to slow, slow down slightly to cross the crossing. Alright, to my line, to my Taiwan, we cross platform interchange. Which is good. Hope for C train. Always, oh, there's the crossover there. No, because it's off peaks, so that's why they use the side platforms. Earlier on, I think it was peak hours, so that's why. Yeah, earlier on it was peak hours, so that's why they try not to actually af affect peak hours. So now it's off peak, so it's free. It's free to use the side platforms. Earlier on, it's the main. Still using the main platform, just because of off uh, peak hours. But now it's off peak, so that's why everyone just they can just switch. Ooh. University of Wollongong, Australia. Actually, that, is, that, is that how you pronounce that word? It's the Sydney one. Wollongong? I actually have no idea how to pronounce that word. Wollongong? I have no idea, but there is a C train over there. I just saw it. I need to run over. Can I, I don't think I can make it though. Oh man, I don't think I can make that. There's a C train over there. Just parked on the platform, made it already. I think it's closed the doors already. Oh. Uh, it's still open, but eh, whatever. I want to send this guy out, so uh, it's not it's, it's not worth it to run that to get the uh, C train over there on the two mile line platform. Uh, there it goes, and there it goes. Door closed. Okay, they played at the KCR announcement. They played the KCR announcement, which is very nice. Missed those announcements. That announcement is actually very nice. I really like that announcement. This train is about to leave. I don't remember the English one. Alright, let's go. And you can see how terrible the uh, frequency is for two mile line. <laughs> Four minutes per train here, you can see the, the timetable. Four minutes per train at Roti, 3, 7, 11, 15 regularly. And we have two mile line, seven minutes per train. Like, what the hell? All right, I like this cross platform interchange. This is the reason why they actually have this section of the two mile line, having the trains traveling on the right side of the track. Just to facilitate this. Because before, I've said in, uh, I think, one of the previous vlogs, uh, before it was Mahan Shan Line, and Mahan Shan Line terminates at Tai Wai. So of course, you're not gonna have a you're not going to have an empty train platform here. So basically, you're just facilitating people from Mount Shan Line to go over to take East Rail Line. So that's why. If not, everyone actually just need to walk down and go, go up.
Plus, most of the people actually want to go to Maonshan will be taking from the other side, which is already cross, not cross platform interchange. So, why not just at least get one cross platform interchange? That's why they have the right side of the track traveling over here. Alright, here we are at the Tin Moon platform to my line. Let's go down to Diamond Hill 2 station. We'll skip it, we'll cut it out because it's a little slow. So, I think we'll go to the way back of the train. SP on the other side. Let's wait for our train. And here's on the platform gates. K and C. C is C trains, you know. K is IKK train, which is SP. Which they call it IKK train. We can also do that, which is also the other term of them. Is that a C train or an SP? Train is coming in. I saw... That looks like a C train to me. Uh, we see the train head. If it's red words, then it's SP. If it's yellow words, then it's Alp SP. Unfortunate SP. <laughs> as soon as you see the red words, you know it's SP right away. So that's why. So sad. Ah, still hope for C train. The last train was a C train. We didn't get it. So unfortunate. Three eight seven. Some of these newly refurbished ones. Now this one is not newly refurbished. It is a refurbished train because. The after 8.5, the trains, 8.5, that's six trains right there. So, is that six trains? Yep, that's six trains. Because, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that's six trains. These six trains were originally from Israel Line. So, they sent it back to Japan to remove the first class car. And then just to make some adjustments and add in the electronic panels because these trains are Japan, Japanese trains. So that's why they send it back to Japan. They break it up. They get the 12 car, usually original is 12 car trains for the SP on the East Rail Line. They swap it down to a 8 car train and now come back to do two mile line services. So that's how they do it. All the other ones are already before refurbished. They are originally, either some of them are SP1950s from, I think, I don't know. But there are definitely the uh, old seven cars SP that runs on West Rail Line before. That has been swapped to eight cars. And I think also some of the SP1950s has also got changed before running on Ma Shan Line with the four car trains. Next station, Hinkang. More SPs on the other side. Now here in Hong Kong, you're not going to have any officers on the, on the train checking your tickets or shits like that. And also it's not like in Shenzhen that's going to have security patrolling guards. So very nice in Hong Kong, the, uh, the environment of, of, uh, the, of the MTR trains and filmings. I need to get off. We'll get off at Diamond Hill. We'll change to Kuntong Line. Very similar to last time, unfortunately, one of the vlogs, but we're not going to Yao Tong this time, we're just going all the way to Tilkan Lang, so it's basically one extra station. But first, I need to go to the toilet. Wow, this window sucks. Even got refurbished, this window already sucks. I actually don't remember whether I've taken D395, D396 yet. That's the last SP. And then D397 is a C train. Which D397 is so hard to find. They rarely actually put D397 out for service. Because there's so many C trains, they just use the other ones. Still, we're still on the right side of the track, just like Shenzhen. So, oh, perfect stopping spot, wow. And there's an R train over there. That's is that number five? That's nine four. Okay, do nine four do nine six. Oh, that's the train that I used that I see that I saw 
for both of the border station videos. <laughs> Which is so funny. I spotted that train for both the Low Wu and the Lok Ma Chao station video. And enter the tunnel. Next station, Diamond Hill. Interchange station for the Kuntong line. Doors will open on the left. Now this is a long section, it's not a short one because it's through Lime Rock Tunnel and goes all the way through to Diamond Hill and then we'll continue our way through. Now technically, di uh, what is that thing called? Uh, Lime Rock Tunnel is actually through and it goes down straight to Kowloon Tong but this is the train tunnel so that's why we just basically go through Lime Rock Hill and then leads back over to Chiwan Shan and Diamond Hill. Now they have actually originally planned for uh, Two Mile Line to stop at T1 Shan, which is a up the hill suburb, but due to the fact that it's actually an up the hill suburb, they didn't build it. It would be way too much work to have a station at the bottom of the, of the hill and then just ba basically have a lift bring you up to the top of the hill, so it's just annoying. So that's why they end up just dropping you off at Diamond Hill. There is a direct transit minibus at Diamond Hill bringing you up to T1 Shan. Unfortunately, no buses, so that's why. No buses. I mean, if you walk out a little bit, you have the 3B. Can be 3B, can be route 3B. That thing though, terrible frequency, 25 minutes per bus. So, it's not even reliable. That's one of my local routes and it's terrible. So bad frequency. And we'll be Kuntong Line. Now I don't expect M trains anymore. So today is a Wednesday. We're in the Tio Kang Line. I'll think about whether I want to go back home first because I do want to pick up a charger. Then I'm going to Granny's house. After that, at night we'll be meeting Michael and two of my secondary friends, girl. Yes, girls, friends. I have not had a girlfriend for how many years now? Two years? Two years and a half? But I'm used to it already, so that's fine. No worries. So. I'm not like completely like single my entire life. I dated twice, so that's why. But don't remember it, just, to, just leave it at home. Just leave it out, we're done with that. So, here and here is Diamond Hill. Let's get out. We're on D387 here. And you guys actually, one of you guys actually said, how the hell you know the numbers? Just look there for the car. It literally listed out for every single car. And every single door there's a number, like what the hell? You know? And also if you guys might be thinking, how the hell about the numbers? If you're not boarding the train, how you know the numbers? Just look outside here. Uh, you can see this under the inside, so it's a little bit dark, but there is a number on the exterior of the train, but for two mile lines, it's a little hard because of the platform doors at the bottom here blocked off, which I see the, the number is actually right where this guy blocked. Let's send the train out first. Oi! Wow! Jeez Louise. And where to see the numbers? It's basically right here. There's a number right there. So that's why if you're if you just can see the exterior, you can just see the number there. But because of the platform there's blocking it so you can't really see it. There goes D387, D388 on the service. And now it's Kuntal Line. Let's go. More XP's over there. I need to go to the toilet first, so let's just get up to the top and Kuntong Line. And heading down to the Kuntong Line platform. 
Well, even if I want to go to the toilet, I can't because the freaking toilet is blocked off for like cleaning or something, which is so unfair. Like, it's okay then, then it's cool. You, you block it off for cleaning, that's fine. But then they block off the accessible toilet as well for no reason and leave the female one open. They're like, what the hell? That's like completely unfair for us males to go to the toilet. They even like lock the accessible toilet. They cannot even actually let even wheelchair passengers to use it. Like what the hell? So stupid. And right, here we are at the Tokelang platform. Let's go to Tokelang now. I'll just use the toilet at Tokelang. And Q train 756. Last time was the C train, so at least we got a Q train this time. For this section. So But honestly, not too much difference. <laughs> Trains on Kuntong Line is pretty boring now, but it's just M trains. It's actually very fun, but it's just no M trains, so no, no more. Oh man, I really need a spot on the side. All of the spots stolen. Yeah, all of the spots stolen. Completely stolen. I don't even want to board this train now because of this. Alright, whatever. 978. This is like the train that I took for the first journey that I took for Q train, 755. Hong. Next station, Choi Hong. Very weak announcement. It's just the interior of the trains are very bright and uh, well lit. It definitely feels way better than the Shenzhen metro trains. Choi Hong Station. Got a spot now. But unfortunately, it's actually these spots actually have no back, so I have to just stand in the uh, in the area without actually something to lie on. Again, Q trains terrible poles. Can I even pass through? Next station, Kowloon Bay. outside do we see M trains in the depot here's the depot do we see M train parks in there the answer is yes there is one M train right there next to the Q train nice
Cowden Bay Station. <coughs> of course, more perfect stopping spots. We'll go back over there. At least we have a spot. I know it's on the left side, but at least we could lie on the back. And when door closes, we just shoot across. Really do not like these Q trains door closing that much. Now the motors are very similar to the C train, so that's why there's not too much difference. Next station, Ngao Tao Kok. There are no difference now in the announcement style. Every single station is like literally it's the same. Before with the M trains, they have very different tones with Cherry Chan actually recording, which is really nice. And I think these are also Cherry Chan recording, but Cherry Chan is a little get is getting old, so that's why. And also the new announcement, they're just literally mission mashing, mish mashing it by using uh, the computer to cut out the words and just basically match the words together, which just sounds really weird, like especially at uh, freaking Lock Ma Chow Station because they don't have new announcement for the next train to Admiralty will depart from whatever platforms. And at the end of that, she's just using the KCR announcement, but when they, when they said Admiralty, it's just actually a Cherry Chan voice. Because KCR is not case, uh, Cherry Chan, and at the end of just mishing, mishmashing a KCR announcement with Cherry Chan's voice with the Admiralty. So they ended off like, before it was Hong Ham, so that's why this is actually the announcement. The next train to Hong Ham will depart from platform number one. That's the announcement. But now because it's Admiralty, they end up just doing this. The next train, the next train to Admiralty will depart from platform number one. This is how they do it. They end up just mishmashing a random Admiralty in there for the stupid announcement. It just sounds so weird. And they also have the announcement in the fanling lift, I just heard it. It literally is so stupid. Wang Gam Zhong Li Che Wang Jin Zhong Li Che Trains to Admiralty. It just doesn't sound natural at all. Especially the Cantonese one. Wang Gam Zhong Li Che. That's how it goes. My Wang Gam Zhong Li Che. Wang Gam Zhong Li Che. It's like that. So stupid sounding. Next station, Kuntong. Just finished filming Kuntong station like two days ago. Please mind the gap. And arriving. Oh, I didn't turn it out to station. Sorry about that. Too focused on talking crap. Not Kuntong station. Here's Kuntong Station. For the Q trains, it's still actually, please stand back from the doors. Which is, uh, they really need to actually fix this. Because it's actually, please stand back from the train doors, not doors. And they end up just keep on having the old announcement, please stand back from the doors. That's the old announcement. 
but not really the oldest generation of the announcement. They're just basically cutting out the do 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 because before, right now, Ting Mat Kao Gan Tae Mun, Ting Bu Yao Ka Jin Che Men, they stand back from the train doors and they just stay there, and then together with the platform, they would do it at the same time. But before, 下一站南田 next station Lam Tin. Now. Before for the announcement on the platform, they don't have the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the announcement saying please stand back from the platform doors. They don't have this announcement. They just have the trains actually having the doors closing announcement. And then before the announcement is, Ting Mat Kao Gan Tae Mun, Ting Bu Yao Ka Jin Che Men, please stand back from the doors. Da 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 da. Immediately, dude. And then it's just on the driver whether he wants to close the door with the dude, or he wants to close the door after all the dudes are done. So, Lamtin Station. It's kind of hard to film on the right side of the train doors for these Q trains. It's really annoying. Hopefully, a lot of people get off and they can just film across the door for the last station section. I'll go back to the right side though. Lantern Station. My hands are pretty sore, but this actually is a surprisingly fast vlog. I thought it's going to take over an hour, but apparently we're definitely, I think, completing this within, I think, 40 to 45 minutes. Wow! Now, even though the border has reopened, still no request will be accepted for Low Wu and Lot Ma Chao Station. More Q trains over there. 下一站油塘，乘客可以转乘将军澳线往北角。下一站油塘，乘客可以换乘将军澳线前往北角。Next station 油塘 ，Interchange station for the Changquan O line towards North Point。Next station 油塘 ，OK。Now, for the, this is why I don't like the Q train announcement. Before, it's actually very strong for the Yalta announcements, even for the C trains. So, but now it's just so weak. And Yalta Station cross platform interchange towards North Point. We will be going down with Tianquan Line later on for another block. But maybe later on I need to come back here. But I want to go back home first. So, I know it's a waste of money, but whatever. And Yaotong Station. Hopefully, a lot of people get off, but you can still change towards Chengguan O for Chen Tiu Ken Lang, so that's why. Now, actually, for Kuntong、uh, Line, they actually have the plan already, hopefully set, to extend via Chengguan O to go to Lohus Park. For the stings, instead of actually having Changquan Line to serve it, but that will be years later. Ooh, even the freaking platform doors outside closes faster than this thing. What? These doors really closes too slowly. 下一站调景岭，乘客可以转乘将军澳线往宝林或康城。左边嘅车门将会打开。下一站调景岭。乘客可以换乘将军澳线前往宝林或康城，左边的车门将会打开。Next station, Tiu Keng Lane, interchange station for the Changquan O line towards Po Lam or Lohus Park. Doors will open on the left. Next station, Tiu Ken Lane. Okay, at least some difference there. Tiu Ken Lane, 呢个系观塘线嘅尾站。调景岭，这是观塘线的终点站。Tiu Ken Lane, end of the Kun Tong Line. 多谢乘搭港铁，谢谢乘搭港铁。Thank you for traveling on the MTR. 请所有乘客落车，请所有乘客下车。Please exit from the train. 
And I don't think they can actually play the entire announcement because of the da -da, da -da thing will actually actually interrupt with the normal announcement, so they're just gonna cut the normal announcements. And we have cross platform interchange towards uh, Lowest Park or Poland. This is off peak right now, so it's terrible frequency going into Lowest Park. It's like 15 minutes per train towards Lowest Park. Three plus one system. So that's why for the train from online, I think it's like five minutes per train, so it's like 20 minutes per train for Lowest Park, really. Off peak. Peak is 10 because they increase the amount and go all the way to North Point as well. Right now it's just shuttle service. Made it. K train over there. Where's it going? That's so empty, probably a Lowest Park shuttle train. Is that Lowest Park train? That's probably Lowest Park train. That's so empty. For sure, it's not. A, not a. You see? You does not even play the announcement. They just cut it. Let's, I just want to see this. Is this Lowest Park? It's probably Lowest Park. Yeah, it's so empty. Yep, Lowest Park. There it goes. Let's see the frequency. I will send that train out, but I want to see the frequency. Oh man, 10 minutes per Lowest Park. <laughs> oh man. And I send this guy out. And the Polam train is arriving. Has everyone gotten out yet? The driver will check the train at the front. So one more dude didn't get out, so that's why he just need to play the announcement. Here we go. And there we go. Send it out. Going to turn back sidings. And there it goes. Good train over there. K train? Yep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on this videos up top. And I'll see you guys next time.